Hello, we are into another session on square and square roots. We had uh, in the last session, I guess, had learned about uh, learning, finding out the square root using the long division method. We'll now take a few questions wherein we see the application of learning that long division method of finding out the square roots. I'll write the first question. These are the word problems. It says find the least number which must be subtracted from 1, 8, 2, 6, 5 to make it a perfect square. That means this number in itself is not a perfect square. If you subtract a certain number which we need to calculate, it will make this num the number which we find to be a perfect square. We also need to find the square root of the resulting number let us see why is this number or by what number if um, we get the uh, remainder as so that this 18265 is not a perfect square so to, so to do so we will calculate and try to find out the square root of this given number if you recall we we are doing pairing or grouping them in pairs. So the first number I get is 1. I will bring down 82 thereby adding this 1 here. Sorry 1 plus 1 I am getting this as 2. 23, 3 will be giving us 69. So if I subtract 69 from 82, I'm getting 13. Thereby bringing down 65. If I add 3, I'm getting 26. So I think 265 into 5. Though it's not actually giving me 1365, it's giving me 1325. Thereby leaving us a remainder of 40. That means if we subtract this process, this 40, we'll get a number that is 1, 2, 8, 6, 5, minus 40. That will give me 1, 8, 2, 2, 5. That will be the number which is which we find by subtracting 40 and the square root of this will now be 135 which we have already calculated let us now move on to another question the previous question was the number to be subtracted we calculated here the question is find the least number which must be added to a given number that is 306452 to make it a perfect square. Let's see how close are we to find the square root I mean this number is how close to the square number if we are finding and trying to find a number between which that uh, the square root of this lies I think it will be 5 giving me 5 so that's 25 I thought I'll need more space so I kind of moved it to the top thereby leaving me 5 564 and I add them that gives me a 10 it's 105 with 5 that will be 5525 and 5 
again if i subtract i'm getting three nine i think and then i'll bring down 52 there again i add five that will give me one one zero the closest i think i'll get it as one one zero three with three so it's nine zero thirty three thereby see we don't need the remainder here because now this number three zero six four five two is closest to this uh, five five three square now if we need to uh, see had it been subtracting question we would have subtracted the remainder here so but it is not that case we need to add something to this given number so what do we add we need to see what is the square of the next number see this is 553 five, the next number will be 554 five, whole square 554 five, whole square i think will be 554 five, whole square i think is 306916 three, if we get this means 554 five, we need to get and we already have 306452 and if you subtract minus because we need to have this number whose square root will be 554 five, and we already have the number 306452 and you subtract we get 464 that means if you add 464 to this num given number we get this and then the square root of that number becomes 554 we on we now on to another question again an application i will write down the question find the least <coughs> sorry number of four digits sorry which is a perfect square see with the least number of a uh, uh, least four digit number is thousand now that's not a perfect square so we have to think of a number which is a perfect square like if we find thousands perfect square we need to just see how much we add to this thousand how much least number we add to this thousand and get another number that is a perfect square because thousand in itself is not a perfect square right so finding the square root of this number like a uh, thousand is here if I put I'm getting three three gives me a nine I'm left with 1 bringing down 100 this is uh, 3 plus 3 will give us 6 so it is 61 into 1 is 100 see sorry 6 sorry I made a mistake 61 into 1 is 61 right see we don't need the remainder here again the same thing now 1 1000 is nearby 31 square root so what is 32 square because the next least number square will be 32 square. I think 32 into 32 will be giving us 1024. So we should actually 1024 is the smallest four number which is a perfect square. So we need to add 24 to 1000. Though the question is not asking us, the question will be the smallest four digit number which is a perfect square is 1024. The same uh, question if you get for five digit or six digit number, you can follow the same method. Try to find out the um, square root of the smallest that digit number and then see why is it not. I mean the next number whose square you can find and that will give you the square, you know, the number which is least in that number of digits. We move on to find out or see how you can find the square roots of numbers which are given in or expressed in fractions. <coughs> like if you are given 256, find the square root of 256 by 41. Finding out square root means this. 
what you do is separately find the square root of the numerator and the denominator what is the square root of 256 square root of 256 you can find will be 16 I think 441 is 21 square so it is 16 upon 21 see the method remains same for whatever question you get now if you are given any mixed number I'm just explaining I'm not doing this one though because the method remains same only thing is once you get a mixed number to find the square root of first convert it into a complete fraction or an improper fraction and then directly find the square root as you have you know you generally do by finding out the numerators and the denominators square root separately if you do this you will be getting one one zero eight eight nine upon two one one six and then find the square root separately we can now move on where in to find the square root of the decimal number given like if you are asked to find the square root of the number like 477.4225 how do you do just take up the process or follow the process you have been doing to find out the general um, uh, square roots. Pair them. In doing so, like first it's the number is 477, so it will be 2 here. I don't have much space, we'll write in smaller fonts here. Yeah. So that's giving me 4. So you can directly bring down 77 and this side if you add a 2 you are getting a 4. So it is 41, 1 will give us 41 because 41, 2 is going to be 80 something. You know, as because the decimal is here above this. I mean beside 77 I put the decimal there and you continue the rest of the question as you do any uh, when the normal uh, or the general uh, square root. So I'm bringing 42 down thereby adding mm, I didn't add it right so it's 41 I'll put it sorry yeah. I'm getting here a 42 so it will be like 428 8 oh sorry sorry for that space mm. 428 into 8 that's giving me 3 4 2 4 and if you subtract I think that will give us 8 2 4 no no am I subtracting it wrong 3 6 4 2 minus 3 4 2 4 is 2 1 8 I'm getting it is 2 1 8 but then I have to bring this 2 5 down and I add an 8 there so it is 436 436 4 3 6 5 multiplied to 5 gives us 2 1 8 2 5 thereby giving us a remainder so the square root of the given decimal number becomes 21.85 see the re you could have observed that the rest of the method remains same only thing is where you put the decimal above um, when you are coming across that part right see this is a terminating decimal when you found the square root otherwise you can simply you might come across questions when you are asked to find the square root up to uh, two or three decimal places see that you can continue with suppose um, a number given like two two is not a perfect square uh, so you just keep on uh, adding up two zeros two zeros at a time and keep on finding the numbers like i tell you if the question says find the two sorry uh, the square root of 2 up to 2 decimal places like you proceed with finding out the square root of 2 thereby getting 
वन वन इज वन एंड देन वन एफ्टर टू डेसीमल प्लेस इज टू पुट ऑन डेसीमल एज यू जनरली डू इन डिविजन क्वेश्चन and then you keep putting up two zeros bringing down two zeros at a time now this is giving me two i'll bring 100 so it is um 24 4 will be 96 i'm left with a 4 bring down another two zeros because we are i am supposed to find up to uh, this is giving me 28 up to two decimal places another number will be enough for me like 282 into 2 i think Or two eight no two eighty two one two two eighty one yeah two eighty one into one is giving me two eighty one whatever be the remainder I'm not doing that part because we are supposed we were supposed to find the square root of two up to two decimal places hope you followed all this we will proceed to another topic in the next session thank you.